Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. We interview the world's leading apologists to provide credible answers to curious questions. Jonathan, uh, give our listeners an example of irreducible complexity. So irreducible complexity is where you have a system made up of many or several well-matched interacting components, the removal of one of which renders the system non-functional. And so the, the issue is how would you build a system of that sort up in terms of a Darwinian incremental process? Um, and if you look at um, cell biology, Biology is absolutely full of such systems. Uh, one example, um, there's many that could be given, is in bacteria. Uh, bacterial cells divide by a process known as binary fission. And basically, uh, the, in a broad ship bacteria, the bacterial cell will elongate to about twice its original length. There'll be a, a, um, a, um, there's a fit Z ring that polymerizes around the division septum and it bifurcates into two daughter cells. Now, the fit Z ring, which assembles along the division septum in the middle of the cell, um, is uh, it has to be tethered to the inner membrane of the cell. If, if the tether is missing, then uh, the, the cell can't divide. The, the Fitz-Z ring has to be tethered. So how do you get you know, the evolution of this Fitz-Z ring yeah. with no tether? And moreover, uh, when the bacterial cell elongates, it has to literally sever the peptidoglycan cell wall which is done by enzymes known as autolysis, which have to be very tightly regulated and controlled. And uh, the uh, the cell, cell wall has to be resynthesized as the bacterial cell grows, um, because what happens if it doesn't if it doesn't if it's not resynthesized is that because of the osmotic pressure the cell bursts or lyses if you will, um, and so it's put back together by a process known as transpeptidation or peptidoglycan crosslinking. There are and there's a protein called. Uh, Nactoprenol, which shuttles the peptidoglycan precursors across the cell wall. Um, there's uh, penicillin binding proteins, which are involved in the peptidoglycan cross-linking process. And what's interesting is that these penicillin binding proteins are themselves a target for penicillin antibiotic. Because what happens is, if, um, the, pep if the transpeptidation of the peptidoglycan cross-linking fails, and the cell bursts, then the cell dies. And so that's why it's a target. But how would you put together an Darwinian, uh, through a Darwinian process, a mechanism to, in a very coordinated fashion, sever, rebuild, sever, rebuild, sever, rebuild the peptidoglycan cell wall. Because if you simply um, develop the process for breaking the peptidoglycan cell wall, then you're dead until you have the mechanism for rebuilding the peptidoglycan cell wall that has to be done in a very coordinated fashion.